In this tutorial, we will introduce initiated chemical vapour deposition, or the ICVD process. ICVD is a kind of thin film deposition process. In this lecture, basic principles of the ICVD process and the mechanism of polymerisation by ICVD will be explained briefly, and also the applications of ICVD. ICVD is very similar to the hot filament chemical vapour deposition process. In both methods, the activation energy required to start deposition reactions is supplied by the heated filament inside the vacuum reactor. In ICVD, in addition to the monomer, a chemical species called the initiator is also introduced into the chamber during deposition. The reaction mechanism proposed for ICVD polymerization can be divided into three main steps. The first of these is the thermal decomposition of the initiator in the vapour phase in the vicinity of the heated filaments to form primary radicals. In the second step, primary radicals diffuse to the surface and become adsorbed. The monomer is also adsorbed from the vapour phase onto the surface. Finally, in the third step, polymerization is initiated at the surface by the attack of a primary radical on a monomer molecule. Polymerization is propagated by the addition of more monomer units. Polymerization is terminated by bimolecular chain termination through coupling or disproportionation. The required equipment for ICVD consists of a precursor vaporization and delivery system, a vacuum chamber, a vacuum pump, and control hardware. This is a laboratory scale ICVD system. The reactor is placed in a fume hood and the control hardware is located next to the fume hood. Now let's look at the reactor parts. The initiator and monomer jars are placed at the left hand side. The flow rates of precursor vapours are controlled by needle valves or mass flow controllers depending on their volatilities. A capacitance pressure gauge is used to measure the pressure inside the reactor. There is also a water circulated cooling stage located at the bottom of the reactor to promote cooling of the substrates during the depositions. The throttling valve allows for downstream pressure control. The reactor is covered by a thick quartz plate. It allows visual access to the reactor. In this slide we can see different kinds of substrates with different sizes being coated simultaneously. The tungsten filament array is located a few centimetres above the substrates. The most important parameters of the ICVD process are the reactor pressure, the flow rates of the precursor, both the monomer and the initiator, the vapour pressure of these precursors, and the temperatures of the substrate and the filaments. Knowledge of PM over PSAT is extremely powerful for rapidly determining the window of processing parameters capable for ICVD film growth for a new monomer. Deposition rate and the morphology of the deposits are mostly affected by that ratio. While PM is determined by reactor pressure and the flow rate of the mon monomer, PSAT is determined by the precursor type and the substrate temperature. Acrylic, methacrylic, styrenic and other molecules containing a polymerizable vinyl bond have been successfully used as ICVD monomers. Some of them are given in this slide with their applications. An enteric coating is a polymeric barrier coating that protects drugs from acids within the body. Initiators greatly increase the deposition rate and decrease the energy required to perform the deposition. The most common initiators are given in this slide. ICVD is a solventless and low temperature technique. Therefore, almost every kind of substrate can be used as in CVD, such as quartz, silicon, carbon nanotubes, fabric and even paper. In this slide we can see the effect of a very thin fluoropolymer coating on a tissue paper. After only a few nanometers of coating by ICVD, the hydrophilic paper becomes highly water repellent. Now we will look at some applications of ICVD. Examples of this include multi-layer films, surface modifications, smart surfaces, biomimetics and optical applications. Next up, we look at some of the most recent applications. By alternating polymer and titanium layers, you can create artificial Bragg structures. The polymer layer was deposited by ICVD. These structures are similar to the one observed in some fish scales. The colour tuning is fast and reversible. 
Thin films with different refractive indices can be deposited with good thickness control, therefore optical properties of surfaces can be tuned precisely. ICVD was used to deposit films having different refractive indices to mimic rapid colour changing structures in nature. The conformal nature of ICVD helps to make exact copies of natural surfaces through a two-step replication process. Biomimetic polymer sheets are templated from the fresh petal surface of the red rose and possess the same wetting characteristic as the rose surface. By using the same duplication process, many other natural surfaces can be copied into chemically well-defined polymer films or sheets. Surface modification of substrates down to the nanoscale can be achieved by ICVD. Multi-wall carbon nanotubes, or MWCNT surfaces, can be functionalised uniformly. This expands the application areas. In this slide, commercial scale batch and roll-to-roll -roll ICVD reactors have been shown. Commercialisation of the ICVD method requires the accurate scale-up of the lab-scale small reactors. The most critical issues affecting the throughput of a commercialised reactor are the film growth rate and the effective utilisation of expensive precursors. Experiments carried out in lab-scale reactors can greatly increase the process of determining the best possible combination of parameters available in an ICVD system for optimising growth rates and the material properties.